UK and EU negotiators agree on a draft text for Brexit. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson calls it a great new deal that takes back control. It's not just trade, but in diplomacy too, as the US imposes tit-for-tat restrictions on Chinese diplomats in response to how US officials are treated in China. Singapore's non-oil domestic exports fall for the seventh straight month with lower exports to the US and Japan. Hello, I'm Glanda Chong and we're tracking the top news stories across Asia and the globe. British Prime Minister Boris Johnson says a great new deal has been reached and it allows the UK to take back control as it leaves the European Union. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker called it a fair and balanced agreement for both sides. He says it is a testament to their commitment to find solutions. Earlier, the Democratic Unionist Party of Northern Ireland, which is part of the UK, said it cannot support Mr Johnson's deal over unresolved customs and tax issues on the Irish border. In response to this deal announcement, the DUP says its position still stands. The DUP, which backs Mr Johnson's government, says it will continue to work with London towards a sensible deal. Now, for the latest out of Brussels, we're joined by Mia Alberti. Mia, so what details can you tell us about this new Brexit deal? 